Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all very much for coming out and uh, braving the weather. I know it's not the best conditions. My name is Saman. I'm a local activist uh, here in Montreal, Quebec, since 2013, and I have a group called Equality Quebec, grassroots organization that supports the liberation and the freedom of our people right here living in Quebec, and also to promote these kinds of values outside of our borders as well. As Canadian citizens, we take a great amount of pride in being citizens of a democratic nation. However, part of being part of a real democracy means to support democratic values within our own borders and outside of our borders as well. And here we have a serious problem. Here we are living a life as hypocrites. And it's not really our fault it's because we're part of a system that is inherently corrupted. Our federal government provides unconditional support to a government that was founded on colonialism and apartheid-based government that illegally expelled over 700,000 indigenous Palestinian people from their homes by force in some of the most heinous ways ever shown in human history. It's been covered up. No one knows anything about the Nakba and how the Haganah, a paramilitary wing of the Zionist movement, burned villages alive where people slept, burned women and children alive in their tents in order to start the settlement construction of a nation state otherwise known today as Israel. Our government provides at a federal level unconditional support to this kind of a regime. What does that say about Canadian democracy? Not very much. What about our mayor of Montreal, Mr. Denis Calder? When this question was raised to him by another activist from the association Paju, Allah Yassin, he said, je refuse to accept la premise de votre question. She asked him, how do you feel about supporting a government that is violating United Nations resolutions, that was founded on apartheid, and is committing humanitarian rights violations on a daily basis? He said, I refuse to accept the premise of your question. He didn't even address the question, being the coward that he is. It was a shame. It was a shame. It was a disgrace. But it's an indication that we have a serious problem living in the province of Quebec, right here in Montreal. Our own city is supposed to be a multicultural hub. What kind of multiculturalism do we really believe in if our mayor of our own city supports illegal apartheid practice and humanitarian rights violations? It's a disgrace and we're part of that hypocrisy and we have to change it. All of us coming out today and standing out here in solidarity with Palestine is step number one. It's very important, but it's only step number one. The next step is to start addressing the serious problems of the military industrial complex that our country is a part of and that the nation state of Israel is an active participant in. The military industrial complex is dictating our policy both at state, local levels, all across this planet of ours. Right here in Canada, we are part of a military industrial complex. We are part of an evil problem that needs to be uprooted and changed, and that can only happen with real activism. Specifically, what does that really mean? It means to start reaching out to people in the corporate media with their biased one-sided reporting system to get them to be more impartial to support independent media because the dissemination of the truth will come from them more than anything else. And to put real people in government with real conviction, with a real sense of morality and with a real sense of values who are going to go against Zionist infiltration in our, in our, in our, in our government. And last but not least, and perhaps the worst of all, it falls on all of us as human beings, as people. We can all become activists and we all should. We should start promoting real corporate responsibility in our business environment. We should start learning how to reform our financial system, which has been dictated by Zionist ideology, and continues to support all kinds of financial funds and equity funds that support all kinds of atrocities all across the world. We are part of that reform. And until we start looking in those dangerous places where our politicians don't want us to look, we'll never ask the right questions. And if we never ask the right questions, we'll never find the right answers. Long live Palestine. Wait.